So here we're going to find the domains of um, four different rational functions. So the first one is f of x equals 5x divided by 3x minus 9. So when I say find the domain of the function, what I'm asking is what are the values of x that I can plug in to this equation and get a valid answer. So the only problem that I see is plugging in a number into the denominator that'll give me a zero in the denominator. So basically, I take the denominator, equate it to zero and solve this equation. And this gives me the value of x at which the denominator becomes zero. If I plug in x equals three, I'm going to get a zero in the denominator. So I can plug in any real number, x such that x is not equal to 3. So any real number that is not equal to 3 is part of the domain of the function. So all reals except 3. So I'm looking at the next one. So x squared minus 5x plus 6. The only problem would be if I plug in an x and if the denominator is zero, then that is going to be an undefined number because we cannot have a zero in the denominator. So I have to solve this equation to see if there is a real number that will make the denominator zero. Now this is easily factorizable. So this would be x minus three times x minus 2 that is equal to 0. If you factor it, you get x minus 3 times x minus 2 equals 0. So this tells me that x equals 3 and x equals 2 are the numbers that I cannot plug into this function because that will make my denominator equal to 0. So it is all reals, all x values, all real numbered x values such that x is not equal to 3 comma 2. So x cannot equal 3, x cannot equal 2 and that would be the domain of this function. In the next function notice that there is an x in the numerator and an x in the denominator. Do not cancel it because if I plug in an x equals 0 I get a 0 over 0 which is undefined. So I take the denominator and set it equal to 0 to check what values of x would make the denominator 0. So that would be x equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0 which means x equals 1, x minus 2 equals 0 which means x equals 2. So all reals except 0, 1, and 2 are part of the domain. So when I say what's the domain, I'm looking at all possible values of x that will give me a, uh, a, a well-defined number. So anything other than 0, 1, 2 will give me a real number value. If I plug in a 0 or a 1 or a 2, I get a 0 in the denominator, which is a problem. It's undefined. Now, I'm looking at the next one, and I want to check if x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. Are there values of x for which x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0? Which means I need to solve this equation. It is not factorizable, so I use the quadratic formula. x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So when I simplify this, I get negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 divided by 2. This is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 divided by 2. The minute I see square root of negative 3, I know that's an imaginary number. So 
the denominator is zero only when I plug in the imaginary number negative one plus or minus square root of negative three over two, which tells me that no matter which real number I plug into the denominator, it'll never be equal to zero. So the domain is all real numbers.